Perth is set to become the nation's traffic congestion capital, with a new report showing gridlock is growing at the highest rate in the country. We're now spending 20 seconds more in the car for every kilometre, and experts say it's only going to get worse. Perth was once dubbed a two-song city, meaning you could get anywhere within a couple of tracks on the radio. Not anymore. I guess the consequence today is we're probably now a six or seven song city. A federal government report on the state of Australian cities has found congestion in Perth is growing at the highest rate in the country. For every kilometre we travel, we're spending an extra 20 seconds in the car compared to 10 years ago. That means the 40 kilometre trip from Clarkson to the city now takes an extra 12 minutes. The 46 kilometre journey from Baldivis to the CBD 15 minutes longer. The report points to our huge population growth, particularly in the northeast corridor to Ellenbrook and south to Baldivis. A love affair with the car also driving a gridlock nightmare. And Perth's congestion crash is only expected to get worse. It's thought our population will increase by 5.45 million people over the next 50 years, making us the third largest city in the country. It's now a nightmare to get anywhere in your car. Uh, whereas the Liberal government has simply refused to invest in public transport in the way that needed to be done so. Sustainability expert Ray Will says plans such as Main Road's traffic signal optimisation program, which improves flow on major highways, is a start. But he says we can't afford to wait for the state government to make a move on shelf light rail plans. If we don't act to broker solutions today, uh, then politicians are going to simply be pressured by the electorate and will start to make decisions on the run that won't be the best decision, won't be the decision that actually solves the problem. Tegan Sapwell, Nine News.